Why do some people seem to always get attention and priority in the lives of others, while others are often overlooked? This is a question that many ponder at some point in life. It's not about being selfish or manipulative, instead, it is about cultivating inner qualities and practices that naturally draw people toward you. As the great Gautama Buddha once said, the mind is everything. What you think you become. If you practice mindfulness, compassion, and self-awareness, the world will respond to you differently. Let us explore seven routines, rooted in Zen and Buddhist wisdom, that can make you someone who receives priority without demanding it. 1. Be present, fully present. Imagine a monk sitting by a serene pond. As he gazes at the still water, his mind is not wandering, it is perfectly at ease in the moment. To him, there is no past, no future, just the now, in daily life, being fully present when interacting with others is like offering a gift that few can resist. When people feel that you are genuinely engaged in what they are saying, that you listen with your whole being, they begin to prioritize you. This is because so few of us ever truly listen, the Zen teaching of mindfulness, or being where your feet are, is an essential practice here. You don't need to impress anyone with your words, just the simple act of attentive listening is enough. People begin to feel valued around you, and naturally, they start valuing your presence. You may ask, how can this routine make people prioritize me? Here's the proof, when you give someone your full attention, they instinctively feel that you are not just hearing their words but their essence. They prioritize you because they feel seen and understood, a rare gift in this hurried world, too. Speak less, mean more. Buddha often taught the value of right speech. He said, better than a thousand hollow words, is one word that brings peace. In today's world, many speak endlessly without substance. But the one who chooses words wisely, who speaks only when it adds value, stands out. Imagine sitting in a conversation where everyone is talking over one another. Yet, there's one person who listens more than they speak, and when they do share something, it's profound, meaningful, or helpful. That person becomes the one whose words are remembered, by practicing this restraint in your speech, you earn people's trust. They begin to seek your opinion and prioritize your advice because they know when you speak, it's worth listening to. People who conserve their words have a silent power that naturally draws others toward them, consider this routine as a practice of humility and wisdom. When you speak less, you are heard more. People will make time for you because your words carry weight, they bring clarity, insight, and peace. They don't want to miss what you might say. 3. Master the Art of Compassion In a Zen garden, one may see a stone that has been polished over time by the gentle flow of water. Just as the water smooths the stone, compassion softens and refines the heart. To receive priority from others, cultivate a compassionate heart that seeks to help, not for recognition but for the joy of giving. Compassion is not about grand gestures, it's about small, consistent acts of kindness. When people experience your empathy and generosity, they naturally want to be near you. They prioritize you because they feel safe in your presence. It's as if you become a shelter from the storm, a place where they can rest and be at ease, in Buddhist philosophy. Compassion, or karuna, is seen as one of the highest virtues. It's not a weakness but a great strength. Those who prioritize the well-being of others are those whom people remember and value. By making compassion a daily routine, you become a pillar in the lives of those around you, a person they will always turn to, respect, 
and prioritize. Imagine a friend who is always there, not just in good times but when you need support. This friend doesn't judge or offer unsolicited advice but instead listens and offers a hand when needed. That person receives priority because they have earned it through their compassion. 4. Be a source of calm. The Buddha once said, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. In a world filled with chaos, distractions, and endless noise, those who can cultivate inner peace are like a cool breeze on a hot day, people gravitate toward them, to receive priority in others' lives, become a source of calm and stability. This is not about ignoring your emotions or pretending that everything is always fine. It's about learning to center yourself amidst the turbulence of life. Through meditation and mindfulness, you can cultivate a deep sense of tranquility that radiates outward, when you walk into a room and carry peace with you, people notice. They are drawn to your energy. They begin to prioritize you because they associate your presence with serenity. You become their sanctuary, their refuge from the stresses of life, this routine may take time to develop, but once you become the calm in the storm, others will naturally seek you out, prioritizing your presence in their lives because you offer them something invaluable, peace of mind. 5. Lead by example, not by force. Zen teaches that true leadership is not about control but about guidance. Those who demand attention often push people away, while those who lead by example attract followers naturally, picture a group of travelers in the mountains. One traveler does not command the others to follow, but through their knowledge of the terrain and calm demeanor, the group naturally begins to trust and follow their lead. They don't need to ask for priority, it's given to them because they've earned it through their actions. In your life, if you wish to receive priority, don't demand it. Instead, lead by example. Be the one who embodies the values that others admire, integrity, kindness, perseverance, and humility. When you practice what you preach, people will prioritize you because they see in you the qualities they aspire to have in themselves. Think about this routine as a form of silent leadership. You don't need to force people to notice you. Your consistent actions will speak louder than any words, and in time, people will give you priority because they respect and admire the way you live your life. 6. Be grateful and show appreciation. Gratitude is a powerful practice in Buddhism. The Buddha often spoke of the importance of appreciating what we have rather than constantly yearning for more. Those who show gratitude attract more good into their lives. Including the attention and priority of others, when you make a routine of expressing genuine gratitude toward those around you, people take notice. It can be as simple as thanking someone for their time, their help, or their friendship. This small act of acknowledgement makes others feel valued, and in turn, they begin to value you more. Imagine someone who always remembers to say thank you or who takes the time to recognize the efforts of others. This person naturally becomes a priority because they offer something that everyone craves, appreciation. People want to be around those who make them feel valued, and by showing gratitude, you become someone they prioritize. This routine also serves as a reminder to yourself that life is a gift. And so are the people in it. When you cultivate a heart of gratitude, not only do others prioritize you, but you begin to see how much you've already been blessed. 7. Embrace humility. Lastly, to receive priority, practice humility. Humility is not about belittling yourself, it's about recognizing that the world does not revolve around you. As the Zen saying goes, in the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities, but in the experts, there are few. 
Humility opens you up to learning, growth, and connection. When you approach life with humility, people are drawn to your openness and lack of ego. You are not competing for their attention, you are simply being. Ironically, the less you demand priority, the more people will give it to you. They will respect your groundedness, your ability to admit when you don't know something, and your willingness to learn from others. Imagine a leader who, instead of boasting about their accomplishments, listens to their team, values their input, and shares credit for successes. This leader is prioritized not because they command it but because they earn it through their humility. In daily life, humility looks like admitting when you're wrong, sharing the spotlight, and being open to others' ideas. When you embody this virtue, people begin to prioritize you because they feel comfortable around you, there is no competition. Only mutual respect, to sum up, the routines that help people give you priority are not about manipulation or demanding attention. They are about cultivating inner qualities that naturally attract others, by being present, speaking wisely, showing compassion, offering peace, leading by example, expressing gratitude, and embracing humility, you create an aura that others want to be near. In the end, these routines are not about gaining anything from others but about transforming yourself. As you grow into a person of depth and substance, People will naturally prioritize you because they see in you the qualities they wish to have in themselves. The teachings of Buddha remind us that life is a reflection of what we cultivate within. When you become a person of mindfulness, compassion, and humility, the world will respond, and people will give you priority, not because you ask for it, but because you become someone worthy of it. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.